Hi hey everyone, this is Geo Will from the Fan Production Squared, and we're back to continue our walkthrough let's play for Sword of the Stars. Last time, uh, I let the let play call go a little too long and it ended up hitting the magical 126 gigabyte mark and it decided to frack itself. So I have to go back and uh, there's a couple uh, video files I'll have to, have to put through fracking uh, VW before I can uh, render them out. So that's just another one I'll have to do. Um, so, last time we decided to say goodbye to our Zool game because I totally messed it up and I didn't feel like restarting it again. Not again, but restarting another one again for whatever reason. Decided to accept the loss and move on to Marigi. The last and final Marigi uh, game with the Marigis. Uh, and, uh, this is going to be our, just kind of recapping, this is going to be the uh, first game where we do, like, a full... You know, the full gamut of AI and uh, number of AI you can have, which is eight. And the largest uh, galaxy, uh, the galaxy is the most suited to this kind of, of game with the most stars, so that's uh, 350. And that's where we're at right now, is dealing with that. So, um, when I was loading up, I saw that we were in sixth place, so not too bad. I thought it would be a little bit lower, but we're doing okay. Um, in colonies and income, we are last up because it's taking a while to get things going. Um, population, we're second. We're actually uh, fourth. We're actually second in the technologies, which is interesting. We've been sailing through these technologies pretty well. Um, we're at last on ships, and uh, or not last, we're sixth ships and uh, fifth on output. So that's um, where we are. Um, let me see. We have some ships that we can use. I think we have some colony ships somewhere. Okay, no, we had some going there. I think these are colony ships. Um, do we have any other colony ships anywhere that we are... This guy's done. I was trying to figure out if there are any ships that have reached their... The, their object colonies or... Their destinations that we can use to colonize with yet, but I guess not. So, um, I think we have, do we have some fleets going, we have some fleets going out too, yeah. Okay. Um, we need to make more though. More colonizers. We have to the cruiser colonizers, but that technology apparently is not enabled. To be honest, we don't even need all these. We've got so many friggin' tankers over there, we don't even need these, to be honest. So I have enough to like send all these out, even more, maybe double that out. We got all these bloody tanker ships. We need one per fleet, so we're fine with that. How that's going, let's see what's this, one ship, probably a DE. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. What are we on this? Uh, okay, we got one left turn. One left turn to let, ah, wow. Okay, after that uh, mental car crash, uh, we have one turn left for that. Um, okay. So, fleet arrived everywhere, apparently. Uh, ships constructed. Combat at Talos, we lost that one, we won that one. Combat at Fu, we lost that one. Explored those systems, and enemy fleet detected, which is, I think, this one. Alright. End the turn. Most auto we're gonna win that one. Uh, we'll manual that one, and we will manual this one. So I'm not confident that our colonizers could take out that DE, even though the DE is very, very destroyed. I'm not gonna trust the game to do that one. Probably shouldn't even done. Let it do Wester. It'll probably make me lose Wester. You watch. It's a crap game. Oh hey, we have one ship. Nice. Oh wait, this is the the other one first, not the colony one, but the extended range one. Yeah. yeah this is a uh, one of those other kinds. Yeah. I think it might be an armor. I'm not sure. Definitely not extended range. Or if it is, it has some sort of armor mod on it.
I guess it could be an extended range with an armor mod and stuff. At least our shots are actually hitting more accurately. Well, we did manage to do some damage to him. We got a little thing floating out there, shooting out their sparks. Or I don't. Yeah, I did. Didn't before. No. He's got two, I have one. I think we're gonna win this. Objectively, looking at these spark things. Ah, oh, come the hell on, what? He blew up my midsection. I haven't done anything to him yet. Oh, nice. I got him too. I got... I got his front end though. Nice. It's just like... Yes, we got him. I think we are like... I mean, you literally probably couldn't even... That was probably like one hit away from like total destruction or something. I don't know. Alright, this, guy, this guy's gonna go up really fast. Get all these ships over here. Yeah, he's already gone. Wow. System update. Early on, we're doing pretty good. I think we already have a bonus with laser technology we as well. Have the answer, yes. Integrated sensors. Uh, that's fine. So that unlock. Does that unlock the? What does it unlock? Let me go. Where is that even at? I don't even know. Where am I? Here we are. Uh, okay, now that's this one. Event sensors. That's just the allowing you to do stuff in the the sensor thing during battle. Okay, um... Yeah, FTL economics now. So, oh man, it's not that UV... Well, we probably have to do uh, fusion first, then we could probably, we'll probably get phasers after that. Eight turns to complete. Eight turns for fusion. Is that... Does that make sense? Autonomous drones. Two turns. Astro asteroid belt trickster? Colony trickster? Oh, really? Interesting. I did not know they had this ability. Cool. So you can go through and set up a bunch of traps on different planets that you think might be colonized by other races and cause their colonies to get blown up. Or at least the colony ships to get blown up. Cool. Um... Let's work on some uh, of this stuff first. We got a lot of a lot of more useful technologies that we can can research there. Um, then we'll maybe at turn twenty five we'll go for uh, fusion and see where we are then. Okay. Have we colonized even one new world yet? Yeah. We no. Have we? I don't think we have. Oh, we're about to, anyway. The women have landed, my god. They will be a menace. I think I'd sent some out to one plant and they got blown up, I think. Originally, there's like one where we sent them and they got destroyed by another ship or something. I mean, let's have a look, let's see where my fleet's breakdown is here. So, with colonizers. Um, location. I 
Oh, there's one somewhere. Damn. They've probably been there for a while. Deep space. Deep space, deep space, deep space. And that's our capital, so... I'm turned to Bizarro. I'm coming over here to Archon. Okay, good. We have our small fleet there waiting for him. Or wait, do we? No, it's just an extended range, never mind. The fleet one's down here. It's fine. Um One of these plants we have some more extended range ships here. Here we go. Let's break this apart. As you say, Let's start going more than ten. We are yours to command, Morukan. So we're getting a kind of sleepy start to uh, actually colonizing these worlds, worlds we're finding, so. We rise as one, Morukan. At least use these guys. <clears throat> Though while we're waiting, I do want to build. Um, okay, we're actually building stuff here. Okay. Do we have another larger planet that we're not doing anything with? Oh, wow, there's a bunch of extended ranges here. Okay, uh, build. Yeah, nothing here. So let's go ahead and build colonizers here. The shipwrights stand ready to build. Okay, new technology is available. It's fine. Combat, combat, combat. Enemy fleet detected. Next turn. System. I don't really give a flying whatever about that planet, so it's an uninhabitable wasteland. So I'm not too worried about it. So we got our first two colonies. This one's not too bad in terms of the environmental stuff. What about this one? This one's also not so bad. I'll work on infrastructure first. You know, their Lear ship inbound. Um, there's that one. There's also another one somewhere. Ah, here we go. Coming down to Peck. Another Tarka ship. Alright, so five five. I should really add a grab boat as well. Send some grab boats in to help Our speed things up. Will build fine ships, Morukan. All right. We are yours to command, Morukan. We rise as one, Morukan. There will be an oasis here, my God. Okay. So, that's all there is to do. 
So we're gonna do them manually. So once again, I don't think the game's giving me a fair shake. If I can beat one enemy ship, uh, ship one to one, manually by doing nothing, then the game should allow you to win automatically. You know, if it doesn't, then the the system which determines that is not a fair system. Oh wow, a little bit jerky. And again, the Turka do have kinetic weaponry. Which I think does a little more damage than lasers do at this point in the game. This friggin' ship is like the stormtroopers of this game or something. Yeah, definitely. Those those Ghost cannons are like murder compared to what I have. I need to get some armor plating on these guys. It's also, you know, the ships are impossible to hit. Tarka ships are too small. are not blown up yet. There we go. Finally. System update. Our research is complete, my can. Research. The knowledge will not remain hidden for long. Do we put stealth armor on our? I think we did. That's on our extended ranges, right? Yeah. So what does that what effect does that have on the armor? So it doesn't give you any additional armor, it just makes you harder to see or something, I guess. Let me check, what is the what does this say? Armor layer design, not so much toughness to reduce energy signature of the vessel, it's just because stealth armor is somewhat more fragile than other ships but can escape long range detection more easily. Ah, okay. So it actually makes them more prone to being blown the hell up. But doesn't actually reduce or add any armor. Interesting. I didn't send these guys out, did I? I thought I did. Crap. Um, okay. We set win, it's a size 3, I'd rather not do that one. Let me see, do I have any larger size 5? Size three. That one's easily colonizable there. Size seven, boom. As you say, Moro Khan. Uh 
All right. Um. Go ahead and fill out that fleet. We're also building a fleet over here. Okay, that's almost done. A few more ships into it. Yes, my god. More ships will be built. Wasn't to oh, this one, okay. Um, we'll start of it. System update. Oh, there's an eight up here. That wasn't worry about crap. Um Okay. We set win, Marukan. Alright, so fleet arrived at Zeta Reticuli, Madia to construction, construction, enemy detected, and we're over budget. No, one turn left, okay. Then we have that other Song of Fire fleet. Alter. I can drum. So I got a human fleet. Um, yeah, let's do a menu. I want to see exactly where they're at with their ships. That's one of their extended ranges, too. You can tell from that down here. See any damage just yet? Pretty sturdy ships. They both have something, so... And another squeaker, I think, where we'll probably knock him out first. Now I've got two, and he has one. Damage spot. I might actually get blown up by this guy, we'll see. Both got quite a bit of damage. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> Little uh, excitement there. Both got each other at the same time. Let's see what happens now. Are they actually. Ah! Oh, bollocks. Still, I beat the crap out of his. <clears throat> System update. We have the answer, Morukan. Good. So that's three turns now. Translate English. Um. That's more. That's a more use of. Better use for three turns. Let's go ahead and design some cruisers now that we actually have them. I haven't been doing that, so we have some other uh, technologies too that we can put into effect here. So battle bridge, um, uh, fission still sure. Okay. UV Beamer. I'm just going to go out with the Beamers. I don't, I don't have any other technology that's better than that, really, so... I'm not going to use missiles. At least not on this ship. Maybe I will on a... On a it is a ship. most cunning design, Morgan. We will remember the plan of this ship, my Khan. Of course, these ships will be you know, automatically outdated once we finish the reinforced reflective coating or whatever that one is, the improved reflective coating, but whatever. Attack drone default. It is a most cunning design, Morokan. Um... Refinery. Yeah. Oops. I actually stick missiles in the back on the engine section. That just makes sense, really. We will remember the plan of this ship, my Khan. What the hell? Why is that fishing back this way? That's weird. That should be this one. And then that one up here should be. That's weird. That seems like freaking turned around this diagram down here. This is very strange. I never noticed that before. It is a most cunning design, Morokan. Already redesigning things, <clears throat> but I won't. Medium extended, let's see, cruiser extended ranges. Is it even really useful? Probably not at this stage. So we're going to go ahead and redesign um, all of our existing ships for destroyers to use the UVs. Never possible. And all the other technologies.